One of the most common transactions in estate planning is the change of beneficiary. People regularly change their minds about whom they want to receive this asset or that benefit. The court explained in Nunneman versus the estate of Grubbs that specific rules govern these changes. Donald Grubbs owned an individual retirement account, or IRA. In 2003, he named Chrissy Nunneman the beneficiary of his IRA, meaning that upon Donald's death, Nunneman would receive the account's residue. In May of 2005, Donald was hospitalized with what proved to be his last illness. On June 3rd, he summoned a lawyer to the hospital and executed his last will and testament, leaving all of his estate and property to his mother, Shervina Grubbs. He also named Shervina his executor. However, the will didn't specifically mention Donald's IRA. Donald died six days later. Shervina claimed that, sometime after Donald's death, she found a handwritten note in his Bible, dated before his hospitalization and signed by Donald, that specifically designated Shervina as beneficiary of his IRA. Shervina sued Nunnenman in an Arkansas state court. The trial court awarded the IRA to Shervina, and Nunnenman appealed, 